Guangdong, China, April 22, 2024. Heavy rains hammered southern China on the weekend, flooding homes, streets, and farmland and threatening to upend the lives of tens of millions of people as rescuers rushed to evacuate residents trapped by rising waters. At least 11 people are missing, six of whom are from the town of Jiangwen near Shaogun City in the province's mountainous north, where heavy downpours have triggered landslides that injured six people, state-run news agency Xinhua said Monday. Days of rainstorms have lashed Guangdong province, an economic powerhouse home to 127 million people, bringing widespread floods that have forced more than 82,500 people to be relocated, state media reported, citing the local government. Since April 16, sustained torrential rains have pounded the Pearl River Delta, China's manufacturing heartland and one of the country's most populated regions, with four weather stations in Guangdong registering record rainfall for April. The Pearl River Basin is subject to annual flooding from April to September, but the region has faced more intense rainstorms and severe floods in recent years as scientists warn that the climate crisis will amplify extreme weather, making it deadlier and more frequent. Last year, China encountered more intense and extreme downpours during the flood season than in previous years, with 72 national weather stations registering record daily rainfall and 346 stations breaking monthly records, according to the China Meteorological Administration. Since last week, at least 44 rivers in the Pearl River Basin have swelled above the warning line, threatening to burst their banks, according to state broadcaster CCTV. On the Bai River, which flows into the Pearl River, authorities have warned of a once-a-century flood expected to reach 5.8 meters 19 feet, above the warning limit. The tributary had already burst its banks on April 8, marking the earliest arrival of its annual flood season since records began in 1998, according to Guangdong authorities. Aerial footage aired by CCTV on the weekend showed villages inundated by murky flood waters, with only roofs and treetops visible in some places. In Guangdong County, Jiaoqing City, Footage shared by residents on short video app Duian shows muddy brown water gushing through village streets and sweeping away cars. In Shaguan, a man is seen pushing his scooter through shoulder-high flood waters. And in Qingyuan City, social media footage shows strong gales and rain felling trees and flipping over motorcycles.
Authorities raised the flood control emergency response for the Pearl River Delta to level two on Sunday, the second highest in a four-tier system. Many cities have suspended schools and hundreds of flights have been canceled in the metropolises of Guangzhou and Shenzhen. Authorities have evacuated 110,000 people from their homes in Guangdong as days of heavy rain caused massive flooding in China's most populous province. Four people have died so far, while 10 have gone missing, according to state media. Footage on state media and online show large swaths of land inundated by the floods and rescuers, ferrying people on lifeboats in waist-deep water. Several major rivers have burst their banks and authorities are closely monitoring dangerously high water levels. They had warned that the level of a river in northern Guangdong could hit a once in 100 years peak on Monday morning, but this had yet to materialize by noon. Much of Guangdong is part of the low-lying Pearl River Delta, which is prone to floods due to the rise in sea levels and storm surges. The delta is a major manufacturing base in China and one of the country's most densely populated regions, with Guangdong alone home to around 127 million people. Provincial capital Guangzhou, as well as smaller cities Shaguan and Heiyuan, were among the worst hit. Across the province, about 1.16 million households lost power over the weekend, but 80% had their electricity restored by Sunday night. According to China's Xinhua News Agency, at least 110,000 people have been evacuated with some 25,800 in shelters. Flights have been canceled and delayed at Beiyun International Airport in Guangzhou due to continuous rain, while schools have been ordered shut in at least three cities. Dozens of homes across the province have either collapsed or have been severely damaged, with authorities estimating a direct economic loss of nearly 140.6 million yuan.